Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. While national turmoil continues in Myanmar in the wake of the military coup, students from that nation staged cultural performances at the Kyungi Arts Center on March 14th. Organized by the Myanmar Students Association in Korea and supported by Kyungi Province, the performances sought to convey to the world the situation in Myanmar, in which innocent people are being brutalized, while also offering hope to students from Myanmar in Korea. A video of the performances, titled Spring in Myanmar, was also uploaded on YouTube and received more than 160,000 views within a day. Following his recent visits to high-tech enterprises, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung visited Farm 8, an enterprise specializing in smart farming in Pyeongtaek City on March 17th. Smart farming encompasses agricultural technologies of the fourth industrial revolution. During his visit, Governor Lee viewed advanced cultivation facilities and discussed ways in which the provincial government can assist. Stating that agriculture is ultimately tied to national security, since it can provide a lifeline in crises, Governor Lee agreed that active government support is necessary in this field. Kyungi Province has introduced a new provincial symbol to reflect the current status and future visions of the province, as well as its identity as the largest local autonomy in the nation. The 10-month-long design process for this new symbol began in March last year. The related ordinance was also amended by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly last month. This new provincial symbol, which will be used throughout the 31 cities and counties of the province, consists of the three initial consonants of the name Kyungi-do, simultaneously conveying the name of the province and the excellence of the Korean alphabet to the world. In a press conference held on March 16th, Kyungi Province Urban Policy Division Director Son Im Sung announced plans to establish funds that will be used to return profits made from provincial development projects to residents. According to these plans, the profits from public development projects undertaken by the Kyungi Urban Innovation Corporation will be placed in the funds and used for other projects implemented for the benefit of provincial residents. Kyungi Province expects to accrue approximately 146.6 billion Korean won in these funds by the year 2025. The province will use the funds for the supply of rental housing units and to support underdeveloped districts. Kyungi Province has produced multilingual video guides for its disaster basic income. The video provides online application guidance for disaster basic income as well as Kyungi local currency, in 13 languages, including English, Chinese, and Thai. Consultation personnel and translators at regional foreigner welfare centers and the Weijongbu Foreign Worker Support Center participated in the production of the videos. Following a series of land speculation revelations involving Korea Land and Housing Corporation officials, Kyungi Province is encouraging residents to report speculative investments made by public officials through the Kyungi Public Hotline. Reported cases will be carefully examined and subjected to strong measures, including administrative punishments and investigation requests. Kyungi Province has offered assurances that acts of corruption by public officials will be dealt with strictly in accordance with the principle of zero tolerance. Kyungi Province recently launched Mobile Special Apartment Information Notification Services for individuals with disabilities. Those who have applied for the services will be able to receive special apartment supply information conveniently via Kakao Talk or text messages. Service applications can be made online via the Kyungi Province website or in person at local public offices. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.